Hey everyone, my name is Marco and welcome once again to the My Color Screen channel where you get to learn everything there is to know about customizing your Android phone. This is the second part of our two-part tutorial on introducing you how to recreate the iOS A8 home screen as well as the lock screen. If you haven't seen what the home screen looks like, check in the link over here as now we'll be setting up the complimentary lock screen for that brilliant looking home screen. So without any further ado, let's bring to you today's video tutorial. Great, so like I said in today's video tutorial, I'll be covering a lock screen. And what's the great thing about lock screens is that they're very simple to set up and they look fantastic. Here is the iOS A8 lock screen, the one that'll be complementing your iOS A8 home screen that you can see before you here. Like I said, the link in the description is below in order to set up this home screen. But for now, we'll be only focusing on this lock screen. This is the part two of this entire iOS A8 theme. So let's have a closer look at this lock screen. It turns out it's very minimal, it's very clean, it's got that dark forest background. It looks fantastic in front of this white bar that follows through the iOS 8 theme, the home screen as well. It's got your cell phone carrier as well as your cell information as well as your battery information over there. It's got your time and date, which you can easily see, as well as your side slide to unlock here, finishes it off with this very clean looking slide to unlock button here, that all you have to do is swipe across to unlock your phone. So if you'd like to learn how to recreate this very lock screen, then I highly recommend you watch this video. Let us begin. Great, so before you begin, there's just some apps and some resources that you'll need to be copying onto your phone. So let's start off with the apps that you'll be needing. First off will be Widget Locker, this one over here. It is a paid app, but it's one of the best lock screen apps that you'll ever find as it's so customizable, it's actually quite hard to believe. The next app that you'll be needing is Zupa Widget Pro. And I say Pro because you'll be needing the paid version of this simply to get those templates onto your phone as the free version cannot do that. So just keep that in mind. Going back now, I'm gonna just go into the final thing that you might be needing is a good file explorer. You're welcome to try to do all of this on your computer, but it's just a lot easier to do it on your phone. So I just really enjoy ES File Explorer. It's free and it's very, very easy to use. Once you've got all the apps that you need, I'm just gonna go into my ES File Explorer as I'm just gonna be teaching you guys what you need to copy onto your phone. So all you have to do now is locate that iOS A8 folder that you've copied onto your phone. As you can see, it is over here. Now, if you've already set up the home screen for the iOS A8, then good for you. You've already set up all the Zupa widgets files that need to be copied. However, if not, it's quite a simple and easy process. I'm just going to select the iOS A8 now. Scroll down to the bottom. As this is the first thing you want to be adding is the line.wltheme.zip. That is your widget locker theme that you need to be installing. So I'm just gonna select it now and hopefully by now you have widget locker installed. As now you can just select it in order to install it. So I'm not gonna select install and add as that's gonna now in add it onto my lock screen. I can just do that later, it's quite easy to do. So I'm just gonna select install only. And quite easy, how easy was that? It just installed onto widget locker. No frills, no fuss. So from here, I'm just going to be selecting the lock screen Zupa widget files. As you can see, you can, it's, they're easy to tell because they end in .zw and they start with something that says lock. So the only three files that I'll be needing, the iOS A8 lock slide, the iOS lock screen sta lock status and the lock time. As you can see, I just hold down on one and selected the others. From here, I just need to select copy. Remember, if you set up the iOS A8 theme, you do not need to do this. Now I'm just gonna go back all the way into my SD card, my home directory, I guess you could call it. I'm just gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom as I wanna be looking for that Zupa widget folder. And there it is right there. I'm gonna open it up now as the only folder that I'll be looking for is the one called templates. As you can see, all my .zw templates have been saved into here. So all I need to do now is select paste and it'll now paste in hopefully all those files that are necessary for that lock screen. Once you've done that, that is all the, all the setup that you need to do. And now we can focus on setting up that brilliant looking lock screen. Great, so in order to set up the lock screen, you just need to go into widget locker in your app drawer. Very easy to do. It's gonna go into it now. And if you have any icons or widgets, you just need to hold down on them and select remove in order to get rid of them, just like, like this and, a little bit like this and getting rid of all of them 
like that. So remember, you just want a clean sheet, nothing on it, as now you want to select that little white icon in the top right hand side, as this will now bring you into your widget locker setup. Make sure you want to have widget locker actions enabled, otherwise it'll just simply not work. And from here, we're going to jump into our look and feel. Great, so once you've gone into your look and feel, you want to say select alternative wallpaper, and next you want to say select wallpaper. Bring up your preferred gallery app, so choose whichever one you prefer. I'm going to be going with Quick Pick this time. And now you want to look for that folder that you've copied onto your phone, that iOS A8. As you can see, it comes with all the different wallpapers, but we want to be looking for that very dark, almost gloomy trees wallpaper here. So I'm just going to expand it all the way to the touch of the top and the bottom. And you can now select Save and it'll set up your wallpaper. Don't have to worry about anything else. From here, we want to go into our layout. You're welcome to change your background tints, but that's just personal preference. From here, if you have your anchor pretty much in the middle there, you just want to drag it all the way to the bottom and you want to deselect automatically determine grid size as a 6x4 was found to be a desired grid size, but you're always welcome to change it as widget locker is pretty, pretty chilled in that area. So from here, you've got your layout done. We want to scroll down to the bottom and make sure that hide notification bar is enabled. As we don't want to have that notification bar at the top, we're going to be having our own custom made one, which is awesome. We're going to go back now, going to scroll a bit more down, go into our advanced settings. As we want to have these enabled, we want to have widget overlap. We definitely want to have that enabled in order to get the skins to overlap quite nicely. And from here, there's just another thing that you want to take note of is that every time you push the menu button at the bottom of your phone, it'll unlock your phone within Widget Locker. But there is a workaround with that. If we go into our Home Helper settings here, and we select Home Helper Component, Home Helper Block Home, and then Block Home in Other Apps, just to make your life a bit easier, as now when you tap the menu button, it'll just bring you to your stock lock screen, which is a, a, the best workaround that I could find. If anyone knows a better way, just let me know. So I'm just gonna go back now, back again, and then you should have your lock screen set up without anything. If you do have any widgets or icons, remember just to remove them, as now we're gonna start adding in our own Super Widgets. Let's do that. Great, so in order to add in the Super Widgets, very easy to do. We're gonna start off with that top bar. We're gonna hold down on the home screen and select Widgets. Gonna scroll all the way to the itty bitty bottom. Let's go, there it is. Super Widget Pro right there. And remember with Super Widget is that it's quite sensitive in what size you choose. You don't wanna be selecting a one by one for the top bar and then just simply resizing it. This is not UCCW and it will turn out either really small or just not aligned correctly at all. So I'm just gonna be selecting a four by, one, four by one as it's a four column wide grid size. And now I'm just gonna select the hand, bring up our Zupa widget settings here. From here, I'm gonna be selecting our SD card as that's where all of our skins have been saved. I'm gonna scroll all the way down because it's at the bottom. And I wanna look for the iOS A8 lock status as that's the one that's been custom made for the lock screen. Don't look for the other status bar. Definitely look for the lock status one. So I'm just gonna select it now. It's gonna bring up my editor here. Now you're welcome to select widget on tap action. And from here you can select it to be disabled if you don't want to, when you select it, you don't wanna open up any apps whatsoever. However, if you do, you can always just scroll across to apps and say if you wanna open up your clock or something, but I don't really recommend having apps open up when you tap your lock screen simply because it can be in your pockets and you can just ask dial and it's not a pretty sight. So I'm just gonna be selecting disable now as now once it's been selected, well, once I tap it, nothing will happen, which is a good thing. But you can always go into the Super Widget in your app drawer in order to customize it. If you just wanna change a few settings, you don't have to remove it altogether. Great, so from here, we're gonna be adding in the time, the, the lock screen time skin. So I'm just gonna be doing exactly the same process. So I'm just gonna scroll down, Super Widget Pro. So I'm gonna be going for quite a big one now just to make sure that it fits correctly. So I think a four by four, whoa, that's quite big. So I'll just go into my SD card now. Once again, scroll down almost to the bottom once again. And there it is, the iOS A8 lock time. I'm just gonna select it now. I can see it like that. You're also welcome to go into the widget on tap action. Also make it disabled as there's nothing really much to do there. So now if I hold down on it and I can select resize, as you can see, it gets smaller already, even though it is pretty small, but that's pretty much the same size that I wanted to get and it's quite high up. So I still have space in order to get to my lock screen. So that is a good thing. Next, I'll be adding in that slide to unlock text uh, Zoop widget skin. I'm gonna try out a four by two here. 
see if that works out i'm just going to select it now i'm going to select the lock slide remember i'm going to go a bit faster now as it's pretty much the exact same process i'm going to go back into my widget on tap action i'm also going to make this one disabled as i also do not need for it to do anything whatsoever let's see how it turns out that looks pretty good i'm just going to resize it so that it's round about there remember i still want to get to some space at the bottom to add in my custom slider but there we have all of our skins set up. You're always welcome to say remove them if they're a little bit too small. But I think this looks pretty good. So I'm going to move on to my custom slider. So finally, in order to add in your custom slider, such a breeze with widget locker. We're just going to simply hold down on our lock screen, select custom slider. As you can see, it comes up with all the options. But I'm just going to select this little drop down menu here. It comes with all the different widget locker themes. But the one I'm going to be looking for is the one called line. As you can see, that's the one that we'll be needing. So I'm just going to select done now and now it is a bit too big so if I hold down on it and select resize I can now resize it to however size I want it to be. Whoa now you might have noticed a problem here and that's because if I move it any more down like this let's get it a bit more down then it's too low down but if I move it like this it's too high up and it gets in the way of my slide to unlock button. Now I want to get around this but I, I can't get to that slide to unlock but which locker enables you if you hold down on say your custom slider you can say send to back which is good as, as it's now behind the slide to unlock button and now I can just simply hold down and select resize in order to get my slide to unlock to be a bit higher once that's done you always want to hold down on it and send to back as you don't want it to be in front of your slide to unlock button and then you can't unlock your phone which is definitely not a good thing so there is pretty much your widget locker set up or your skin set up so you can unlock your phone, this is tested out, I'm just going to lock my phone and let's see what it turns out to be. Unlocking it, boom, awesome looking lock screen, I really enjoy this lock screen, it's very minimal, it's very clean looking, it's got your awesome little slides to unlock here, looks really cool and unlocking it will just simply unlock your phone. So there is your video tutorial complete. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. You also definitely want to check out our Facebook, Google+, Twitter community and Instagram community as we always enjoy helping you guys out. It really gives us a such a thrill. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen and as always, don't stop customizing. Hey everyone, my name is Marco and back once again to my... Hey everyone. Hey everyone, my name is Marco and back once again to my...